And let me ask you, what was the last time that you recall with Strixhaven Academy? <laughs> the Basilisk Hunt. We had tracked down our quarry, defeated mm -hmm. it, defeated its mate, captured mm -hmm. them both, captured their nest, brought them back to town, got rewarded, got double rewarded because we caught them both and the eggs. And everyone uh, uh, walked away with basically uh, uh, 62 uh, platinum pieces. Of course, we'll go there. No back. I'll be back. Right on. Okay. I'm back. Uh, we oh. kind of we also did the test on owl bears as well. After the test, uh, we celebrated at the bar. And I think that's basically it. Yeah. Did a bit of role playing. Yeah, and Dutch got like two more platinum after uh, blackjack. Oh yeah. Blank you can tell that he's not an alcoholic. Yeah. Definitely. But he wasn't drinking a lot of beer. Uh, wasn't <laughs> drinking a lot of beer and wasn't eating three uh three big buckets of popcorn. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Inspiration? Yeah, inspiration. I'll give you an inspiration. Yay! <laughs> One inspiration. Pull the scene. One feature dollar. <laughs> Pull the scene. I don't think that's the right token. Where did we last leave Adler? Uh, I have no idea. Hmm. Huh. I'm in the studies. Neat. Oh, I understand. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm going to look at the character. Uh, da, da, da. Um, how do I add um, my new class again? Um, grab me a moment here. No. So, see, dice are being rolled. So, uh, double click That's on me. your token there, and then go to features. That looks like yeah. you already started that All right. process. Alright. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Alright, mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. let's go to the compendium pack, which is to the top right. Top right. Mm hmm. Compendium pack? Yep, compendium packs. It is plural. It's next to what looks like a gear oh, icon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we want to open the folder that says item. Item. Ooh, DDB classes? New. You well, want. Uh, da -da -da -da. SRD? Yes, SRD. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab, drag the wizard onto the features character sheet. On your character sheet. Uh, yeah. Do I take the average? Uh, you can take the average or you can roll for it. Mm, I'm going to roll for it? Okay. No. Yeah. That's oh, up to you. Um, I'm sad. Cool. Cantrips? I know three cantrips now. There we go. Oof. Oh. Beautiful. Thank you. All right. Uh... Let me do this. For Adler, we are in Sunday morning. Adler. There you be. And just so that way you guys are aware, I am going to put the teleportation circle at the uh, town square. So every time we log in, we'll always be there. Mm 
Da, 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 da. All right, so so with that being the case, what shall we do? I was just finishing up my bit of my character right now. Uh, should be uh, I should be now proficient with this weapon. Mm-hmm. Yep, alrighty. Sorry. <clears throat> So what shall we do? Adler, do you see your token? Yep. Okay. I have expertise. Then Alistar. Um. Pull you to see. There you go. Oh, there's Alistair. Is he here? Yeah, uh, you're on the same screen as me with uh, Clovis, was it? Well, this character was Clovis, right? If I recall correctly. Yep. Clovis. So. Wait, you took a. What? Oh, there is. Wait, you took the uh, wizard levels? He took his first level into wizard. Mm -hmm. Neat. So, I guess Dutch will be finishing up with uh, his studies a bit. On the Utia. Mm -hmm. yep. I would uh, be explaining to everyone there that, of the current situation there that he got information from uh, Lotka there about the cultists. If anyone remembers the purple cult. Uh, Purple robed cultist there, or purple the purple man, right? Mm. Supposedly it's a group, and they are targeting uh, Witherbloom. So we could take a look into you know, like investigating that area later down the line. Uh, beyond that, uh, what else is there? We do have a test for the Utiao coming up, so. Study for that together later, as well. But um, the Utia, sorry, Utia, uh, Utias. They're a three-legged aberration that eats garbage. Oh, I um, might have heard of such a thing. Oh, they're very strange. Right. <laughs> anyway. So that's supposedly the next uh, test that's coming up. As of late, though, I've been. I just also finished up the. Uh, well. The Wakasashi I was working on there. The one that uh, Doraku tossed away. I did the finish up the restoration. Redial Veil. Which. Adler. I believe you too, Danny. Your character, uh. Um, he, Alistair would probably know this because I think you both speak Elvish, right? Yeah. Yeah. It means uh, leaf blade. Oh. Oh, I finished that. It says, quote unquote, Wakasashi of speed, plus one. So it's just plus one Ooh. weapon. The speed, that speed property. Yeah. Anyway, uh, finish that up. Um, I do. See, like, so what do you guys want to uh, do for the day? This is a quote unquote day off. We can go investigate uh, Witherbloom. Uh, sure. We're not, we're done studying. Alright, I guess oh. we'll head to Witherbloom then? Macy Mine. Hmm. 
Wither Bloom oh. is currently <clears throat> currently closed. Hmm. They're closed off. Can we not make there make it there on foot? No, you can't actually. Huh. Guess we can't really do anything then. Mm -hmm. Um. <coughs> I guess. Would you guys be in the study area with me? Yeah. Well, we all kind of started leaving the study area. Oh, were we not? Well, I wanted to ask. Uh, hey, uh, it's it, it's been a while. Uh, I was uh, I've been mostly here, though. A Dutch and Alistair. And, um, I was wondering if you guys wanted to help me get materials from the woods. Materials. Sure. What, what kind of materials? What do you need materials for? Um, well, I was... I mostly just need something for my papers. Well, this sounds like something to do. Nothing wrong with helping out, buddy. Uh, I mean, sure. It doesn't seem like we're not allowed to go to Witherbling to check out the place. Could always ask why. Ask around. <laughs> I mean, sure. I guess I'll ask a teacher. What teacher? Preferably, you to ask? preferably one from Witherbloom. Mm -hmm. Double check with this one. This one should be it. Yes. Dean Lessetti. Lessetti. Right. I don't see the picture. I shall add it accordingly. Ah, ta -da. There you go. Hopefully right. it shows it for you. It does. Alright. Oh. I don't know if I've seen this. You like, excuse me. Yes. Our group was wondering why uh, whether the college grounds are closed at the moment. Any reason why? Uh, uh, there is a predicament that, that has occurred to some of the beasts. We have deemed it to be considered unsafe for the moment, as it is currently being investigated. With these, like you said, beasts, right? There's something wrong with the animals. Yes. They wouldn't be infected with Eldritch long, would they? That's a good question. Um, I haven't heard any reports in regards of that, but I can definitely, uh, let We've been in, our group, or one of the few groups that have been investigating the disappearances within uh, the Earthen District, as well as a few other instances as well. We believe that, uh, they're all linked somehow to a group of people that wear purple cloaks. Cult, as you will. My theory is that they're experimenting with life essence to fuel magic, break into the Forbidden Library. Hmm. Well, that don't make no sense. Why would you go through there when it's its own pocket? Hmm. I appreciate you bringing this information to my attention. No problem. Uh, if there's any way our group can help, we wouldn't mind lending a hand. Hmm. Currently, right now, we have mercenaries that are uh, trying their best to quell the beasts. I'll let you know if uh, if we uh, need to put students in harm's way. Though I rather not. I prefer all every. One of you students focus on your studies and get your, well, grow in power. I would suggest to take a look at areas that might seem insignificant with the current situation. Like, seeing as this might be a diversion. That's very well possible. Just seems like a diversion tactic. These are only just speculations and rumors I've heard. From some other students. Interesting. <clears throat> uh, 
that. One of, the, one of the other groups that's been looking into the situation. It seems quite possible that they're targeting Witherbloom. Nice. Well, whoever it is, any. I'm sure that we will apprehend them accordingly. Alright. Um, I do point out, like, Clovis, you said you were looking for some specific herbs. No better teacher than us to help you out, out with that. Um, I was just looking for something that I could, um... Well... I recently was studying magic, and I, um... <sighs> I just wanted to test it out a bit, so, I don't know, I figured if I could test it out while we're gathering something, then it would be worthwhile. Mm hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> but, um, mm -hmm. you Tell me a bit more. I know you've been really busy. I've been doing my own, you know, studies as well. But um, I heard you went after a basilisk. Oh, yeah. Recently, we went out hunting with the uh, Doraku. For a pair of basilisks, actually. I Bow and top know. hat. How did... oh, what pants, was it actually. like? It was interesting. We did have a decent coordination, and the plan went off without a hitch, to be honest. Even with the uh, second one coming in, just no better ground. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Ooh. I'm trying to think with like Goraku there. He still seems a bit on a standoffish persona. Hard to read that guy, not gonna lie. Yeah, he... He's very, um, resolute. I... I think that's the word. Probably. Um, something. Anyway. Let's go find those herbs for you, then. Mm hmm? The herbs you wanted us to go help you gather in the forest? Mm hmm Yep. Or to look around. Professor, or sorry, <clears throat> Dean Lessity would tell you that you could probably find some of the herbs in the garden. In the garden? Yes. Backside of, uh, 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 behind the storage room. I don't like what you're insinuating. I'm sorry. That's sure, the storage room, room, then. There's oh, this a new? backside to the storage room? Yeah, there's a... Yeah. It's a back door. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Well, really where, I don't know if it's a field area. <laughs> That's good. I thank her for thing and head off that way. Wish her have a good day. Yeah. <clears throat> From here, you can see Uzmatok, if you guys do remember him. Oh, Uzmatok. Uzmatok, bro. Mm -hmm. Uzmatok, how are you doing? Yeah, Uz. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm doing well. I'm uh, doing some uh, pickings for some herbs and uh, growing uh, some or uh, planting some new seeds. Oh, very good. Uh, I believe we're looking for some herbs ourselves, actually. Oh, what type of herbs are you looking for? Uh, he'll look to Clovis and, like, dress her mm. down. I'm. I'm looking for mm, Wolfsbane. Oh yes. Yeah, we. Oh, we. Uh, I did plant some uh, towards the uh, last year, and they uh, should be growing quite nicely around this time. Uh, uh, just grant me a moment, and uh, I'll bring it to you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, while you guys are out there, for all of you that are just patiently waiting for uh, Uzmatok, to which you can't see him, looks like he is uh, picking some uh, 
herbs there and uh, kind of sorting through them a little bit. You do hear a voice from behind you. Greetings, students. I'm just going to turn around. You Here see it is. Professor Entertainer. Professor, hello. Hmm. It's Professor. I didn't really take you guys for very much of a, a gardening aspect. Here to take uh, a few lessons. No. Oh, um, help me in? I, I was just gonna get something to, to uh, maybe make a potion, possibly, for research purposes, and I also need. A, maybe something that grows by night? I need... Is it that hard to get moonbeam drops? Well, it depends on the location. You could probably find them during the night time at the, uh... At the, uh... What do they call it? Uh, I guess you students call it the romantic tree. The what? There's a big tree, probably, with a bunch of names carved in uh, round hearts. Mm-hmm. Mm, I've never seen it. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Why? I'm assuming none of us have actually there. seen <laughs> Have you seen it there, Adler? Of course. Go there quite often. I roll insight on you. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, he's... Uh, was, yeah, give me a roll. Give me a roll. I'll roll a session. Okay. <laughs> uh, Thirteen. I got a twelve. Yeah, he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> the hell? I haven't been there. Could be worth a look. Lois? Mm -hmm. well, it's usually yes. a trip for two. Not sure but I have to go at night, and I usually have work, so I... I have to find the time. Sorry. I'm off for tonight. Good work. I can take a look for you. That'd be awesome. Right. I can't do this kind of... Oh. Well, I mean, if you're planning on going by yourself, I would say good luck to you then. Oh, you shouldn't go by yourself. I'm sure he'll find somebody to go with him. Yes. Because usually the cave doesn't open up unless if you have someone with you. Cave? Yes. Um, outside of Strixhaven, if you go towards the forest, there is a cave. What, are you going to tell me that it, like, it can only be opened with love's first kiss? No. Or something like that? It has to be someone that you are interested with before the cave can open. If you are interest, truly interested with the person, the cave will open. If you're not, the cave will stay shut. Another way to bypass this is it having someone in your mind that you do hold dear to close to your heart. Ah, mm. uh, that's... You gotta get me those drops. I don't know how I get in there. <laughs> he shakes that. He grabs that to his shoulders and shakes them. <laughs> Look, man, I ain't. I don't know what you're talking about here. I'm confused right now. Like, I'm sure someone's caught your eye. Has no one caught your eye? I'm sure some have caught, has caught, uh, the attention of yours, of your very presence. Be beneficial for them. But I guess if you don't have someone in your heart, well, I guess you're just shit out of luck. Mm-mm. <laughs> 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 Uh, Dutch ponders a bit. Roll an intelligence check. <laughs> an intelligence check? Yeah. For what? 
for who comes to mind for such a thing. <laughs> I think that would be a more towards history. History, yeah. Fair enough. Mm. <laughs> I saw that 19 and then I saw it go to 9 <laughs> yeah <laughs> remember Dutch is kind of kind of dumb yeah. uh, Adlar will ask the uh, professor uh, does it have to be a romantic interest um, typically it is usually the case of that or uh, the one bypass is holding someone true and dear to your heart. For example, if you're thinking about your mother that you do truly care for, Brad, the cave would then I'll open have up. a mom. <laughs> oh my god, like... <laughs> hmm, are we having a dilemma because of backstory trauma? I don't have a parents. What? Dead parents. <laughs> oh my god, damn it. <laughs> well, if all of you truly have no love in your lives, I believe I could open this door. I kind of shrug as I, I'm like, he's like, ah oh, yes, guy love. There's nothing gay about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, Dutch, what about that, um, that one girl who's, um, I think she was a she was getting a sword from the blacksmith, and she was a nope. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Holy shit, I oh. forgot about that one. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> no? I talked to her like that, like, I don't even remember. Melody? Madri, I believe. <laughs> Madri. <laughs> like, <laughs> you mean the, you mean the... <laughs> the lady in the pink dress? No. <laughs> I haven't even seen her, like, I've only seen her once. And, like, oh, well. that was it. That's it. Can't, can't you find some way to meet her again? Ooh, Look, man. setting up the bard with nobility? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I need this. It's like, you need to find love so you can open the fucking door. <laughs> like, hey, man. I appreciate the the effort, or supposed effort, as being a wingman and all that. But no... Just know when... When to help out, and when not to. <laughs> Even I was like, damn. She reminds me of my stepsister, my, my brother's fiance. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. oh. Professor, so, Dutch, have you really say somebody like at the tavern? Well, let's just let's say my brother is a bit of a jackass too. That's your sister-in-law, not your stepsister. Or sister-in-law, yes. That's what I meant to say. I'm retarded. <laughs> Remember, I'm not. <laughs> Professor <laughs> Entertainer would ask, "What about your twin sisters? Don't you care about them?" Oh, it's actually a twin brother and sister. Oh, twin brother. Okay, yeah, twin brother and sister. Okay, what about yeah, my them? Brother. I care about my family. Sure, I'll see if I can open the door with that way, I guess. <laughs> I care about my family. Yeah. If you truly, deeply care about your family, the door will also open. You just have to keep them in mind. And hopefully not remember anything bad that irritates you. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, not to self. Not to, like, not to care about Lucas. I had to smack that idiot over the side of the head because he like, contemplated having an affair. <laughs> I smacked him over the side of the head. He's like, oh, how does it go? I was like, fuck, I was like, like, I had a joke for that. He was like, how would you feel if I just, how would you feel if I just hit you in the face? What? Oh, why? Oh, <laughs> that wasn't pleasant, now was it? <laughs> and besides, your, your fiance is supposedly the queen of espionage. <laughs> What's her name there? Fuck. Oh Can't shit. Of <laughs> 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 House uh, Evergreen, or I can't remember the freaking character. <sighs> what was it again? Like it was freaking. Not... 
in clay or something, wasn't it? Something along I those lines. Yeah, freaking Dor- uh, uh, Zoras' old, uh, younger sister. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, that was like the joke. Was like, do you really want to piss off that one? <laughs> piss her off? It's like, no. Then think of it. <laughs> you're the head of the. You're gonna be the future head of the family. <laughs> Make mm-hmm. sure you. Meanwhile, hmm? Uzmatok does return, and he does uh, give you the thing that you request for there, uh, Clavis. Clavis. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, be sure to take good well, care of him. Also, if uh, you happen to find additional seeds, be sure to bring them to me. I, uh, mm. The more that Glad we can, can make do. this garden grow, the better. And cheaper for all of us, students. Great. I have to sell down the lake. <laughs> Take a look through here later, I guess. Mm-hmm. Anyway, just, uh. I guess we head off to the freaking tunnel of lava, I guess. Or, like, wait, I. I Let's go at night. Oh, yeah, we have to wait until night. Mm-hmm. I guess. I don't know, uh. Fuck. Check the tavern to see if there's job postings. And then after that, if there's none, we go to the freaking cafe to get some freaking iced tea, I guess. I don't know. If you're looking for a job, I may have one for you. Oh? There's been sightings of uh, some mysterious figures down in uh, Between District. Ah. The Earthen Districts. Could be a kind of Sorry, grant me a second here. I'm trying to cite the right maps here, and I'm not even in the right tab. <laughs> Let's go. There we go. Between the Forest District <clears throat> 7 and District 9. So somewhere within the forest. Yes. The... I suspect that they're probably going into a particular cave that some students also had uh, adventured into. Oh. There's one by the name of Vapor, another one by the name of Staffy, Latka, Violet. Who else was there? Oh yeah, that cricket fellow was there too. Ace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a few students. Two groups. Have we been down there before? I feel like we've been there before. Um, I oh. haven't. Alistair, Clover, Clover, Clover. Yeah. Um, where I think we were there. At cave. I think we were there when we went to the pick up the earths. Uh, our school assignment. You're thinking of the Othan district. I, I can't say or remember. Cool. Anyway, we shouldn't escape. Why not? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Run. Mm-hmm. Let's take a look, guys. You can do that, or you can wait till tonight and uh, pick up your flower. And then the early next morning, you can also... Uh, Go adventuring for that, or you can do it vice versa. It is your schedule, after all. Uh, well, this adventure could take a little while. Maybe we should do the uh, Cave of Love first. Cave of Love first. Fair enough. Let's see if we can't also get some supplies to check out that place. No, yeah. I would like a little bit of downtime, anyways. That's yeah, fair enough. We're always very busy. Mm-hmm. With our studies, working with stuff. Indeed. Mm-hmm. So what would you like to do? Mm. Uh, we could just go down to the tavern, maybe. Relax. Shoot dice. Okay. I'm probably going to 
continue to study here and but where should we rendezvous? Come on. Come join us. Once once night. Come join us. I think we all know where to go. Come join us for drinks. <laughs> on with the party. Ah, uh, here okay. we go with the drinking stuff again. <laughs> <laughs> Clovis, I mean, put the book down for a moment. Kick off your boots, relax. Maybe keep an eye out for a love interest? Mm. Uh. Oh, Clovis. <laughs> Clovis just turns into stone. Hey, come on, man. Let's hit the tavern. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be your wingman. Man. Put his arm around his shoulder. Let's go, and he starts walking. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I go with you. I was like, "Don't worry, man. I'll be your wingman." You can't ask for a better wingman than a bard. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many ways that could go wrong. Get <laughs> <laughs> you like this Amazon oh, lady there. Me somebody, all right. Get like an, get you an Amazon like babe there. She's like crushed pelvis. <laughs> like the crushed next morning, by snoo snoo. <laughs> like, don't matter. That's new snow. <laughs> Crush I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't think that would help me open the portal, guys. Oh, I think it I would. Don't think that'll be open, open the gate. No, if I'm, I'm dead. dead. <laughs> no, I'm dead. Hey, we oh, found the other tokens. Oh, they they were all. <laughs> the that's right. We were all at the tavern. Makes sense. That makes sense. Blue <laughs> coach. Let's go to people. Then I will go with you, my fellows. Yeah, we went to the tavern there. Let's be dragging you along. Mm -hmm. Oh. All right. Welcome. I'm stuck in time space. You're t stuck in time space. Yes. This room has no exit. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, he had that glitch happen to him. Yeah. I got you. I'll be right back again. Uh. Oh, I see. They're both at the top left. Left wing library and then. Um... Maybe they'll. Like, and, and... I got like I finished my drawing touch. It's almost done. It's like I, I haven't worked on it in a while. Though, but... Right. No worries. Yeah. Oh, no we lost much. Danny. Oh man, he gets better at him. Yes, he just yes, banned... he does. Damn. Otherwise, uh, Clavis, are you able to see now? Eighty-seven percent. Okay. If it takes too long, F5. Oh, 91, 90, 95. There we go. We can go. Come on. I'll check the board. I'll check the job board. It's like everyone gets to the table. See if there's anything. Besides the Raku's request, I guess. That's the only one on the board. And like, I just shake my head. Right. Uh, otherwise, what you see is there is a request to go down to a uh, the ruins of uh, the forest ruins. Huh. I'm not heading there anyway. What for? Um, details are to be discussed. With a Xanth Xanther. Huh. Or if it has anything related to what Entertainer was talking about. Either way. Sit back down there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> They or may not. Alright. My last and trip. I have to the washroom. I will be back. Alright. Hopefully you can get uh, 
Bone stick back on and running, and hopefully Danny's back. Right. I'm back now, too. Welcome back. Mm. Clavis, is it still loading for you? Uh, no. It, it, I'm reloading it. Ah, okay. But otherwise, yes. Uh, three of you are at least. Uh, there. So what do you what would you like to do there? Oh, what do I got? Um, I was wondering. Well, I uh, my thing's having trouble loading right now. But I'm I was wondering for the purposes of this, do I have a spell book yet? I would imagine so. Heck yeah! Then I'd be looking through my spell book. Okay. Uh, I will say to you. Um, also, if you're picking up uh, magic, I could help you out whenever you need it. No, just let me know. Really? Show you. No, of course. I'm the wizard myself. So that I mainly do. Uh, you're right. Um. All right. Uh, that would be incredibly interesting. I was. Um, I was studying magic, reading about some books, and I've seen elven magic, and there's this, um, well, uh, there's just elven magic that I'm planning on studying. Well, even better. But for now, we must keep our eyes out. Uh, we must find you a maiden. Uh. And he's in a... <laughs> Can I roll perception to see if I find anybody? Sure. Is there right. someone in particular? Um, or just kind just of broad? Whoever looks the cutest. He needs to find uh, Clovis the best. Only the best. Only the best. All right. Well, that's... Ooh, 19. Uh -huh. Nice. That's pretty good. Let's see here. Who would be here around this timeline? Uh, there's Rosie, the gnome. Hell yeah, um, absolutely. Let's see. Can I find him a maiden? There's Laureen, the water dancer. I don't think I know her. That's the first time I'm hearing her. Okay, let me add her to stage so I can show you her picture. Okay. There's her is she picture. a human? She is human. Alright. Uh, we got Talana. She is also <clears throat> human. Let's see. We got Cordalis, who's also here. Oh, Rabina's here. Um, and then uh, currently, the one that's also performing in the mu uh, music on stage is Aurora. Alright. Well, Clovis, uh, quite a few options here. Do you have a uh, type? I'm sorry, uh, what did you say? They're playing the music kind of loud. Oh, there are quite a few lovely options here. Do you have a type? A type of no. Person? What? Yes. What interests you in a person? Um, they're. I don't know. They're. Their ability to. Um, their generosity. Uh, generosity. Hmm. Uh, I'm not too sure. 
like can identify such a feature just by looking at people. Mm. Oh, Dutch. Back, maybe. Oh. Hey, oh. So no danger back. Nope. Not yet. Uh, let's see here. Well, that's currently it. So there's a job posting to investigate the uh, ruins in the forest district. Well, we Go just, see. uh, we started looking at uh, possible maidens. <laughs> possible maidens? Yes, possible yeah. maidens. <laughs> For uh, Clavis. <laughs> yeah, we got we got Rosie, we got uh, Talana, mm -hmm. um, the water dancer, or if our name is like Lucine. Uh, water dancer is Laureen. L, -L A R I N E. Do uh, you have any pictures? You got pictures of these people? Yeah, I did show them once. I could show them again. There's also Laura and Rabina. Rabina, yep. I don't think I'm seeing it. I'm about to end. Yep, uh, just grant me a few seconds. I'm adding them all to stage. And then we also got Aurora. That's currently here. Alright, let's start with Lareen. Talana. And Rabina. <laughs> And then Aurora. Which one tickles your fancy? Uh, let's see here. Oh, oh and uh, Cordell is here. Yep, Cordell. That tickles his fancy. Yeah. Cordell, who? Cordell. Who's that guy? guy? That uh, like failed the test on that like first one like a while ago. Here, I'll put it. And then he got swirlied. Yeah, the one that got swirlied. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, this okay, Cordalis. Or is it Cordoris? Uh, actually, I think it's pronounced as Cordoris. Oh, Cordoris. All right. So that's the one that tickles Adler's fan uh, fancy. No, I was saying. <laughs> 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 I don't judge. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Who knows? No. <laughs> You're saying if uh, if it tickled um, or if fucking Clovis is fancy, if he swings that way, right? Very good questions. Hey. Um, yeah, the camera's running about. Uh, you hmm. seem nervous, Clovis. Me? Nervous? No. I'm not. Come on, have confidence, my friend. Um, I gave like a slap to the chest. And look, at it. look at yourself. You gotta put confidence. You gotta believe in yourself. You gotta. <laughs> like, I'm trying to like pump him off there a bit. Like, oh, the way you talk to women, you act, talk. We're like a man with confidence. Oh, um... Top, top. <laughs> <laughs> I will right. also make the statement too, seeing how a little bit of time has gone by in the silence of looking around of all sorts of possible maidens. Another person does come into the room. <laughs> okay. I'll give it a shot. He smiles. 
And I put a picture in. I put a picture in general. You put a picture. Oh my God! The Mad Hatter. Oh my God! I'm like slowly realizing, like, like. Okay, quick question. What is your character's constitution and uh, charisma mod? Oh, God. Constitution is, uh... Darn it. There. Uh, there. Gosh, I forgot to sign it. I'm a foolish man. His constitution, I don't remember, but his charisma should be his dump stat. Negative one. What's your con mod? Zero. Uh, zero? That's what I'm seeing on your character sheet. Notice. You have a well, negative. I'm like, gosh, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, like, I feel yeah, so bad for you right now. Like, <laughs> you, you were hyping up the wrong guy, but you know, totally with the bar. Yeah. Believe in yourself, I, like, man. <laughs> <laughs> The Hermie, like, oh god, did I just set him up to like crash and burn? <laughs> and die. Or, like, oh, I'm so sorry there, my dude. Forgive me. <laughs> oh, no, just he'll do runs great. right he'll do off great. the deep end and crashes and burns. Like... <laughs> yep. It's absolutely kicked out. Double deleted. Whew. Alright. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I... Otherwise, you do see Lady Madri who does come in. And uh, she does... Uh, uh, essentially does walk up to talk the bulk owner of the Bozen's Tavern and makes a statement. Alright, talk. I need... Oop, if I can find the menu here, so that way... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Mm. First off, we're going to start with the Flaming Dragon. Alright, alright. And then next up, I would also like to try out your Pixie's Piss. Fair enough. And that'll be six gold. Fair enough. Oh god, like, it, this would be kind of a scummy thing to do. Tell me, okay, HMI, would this be a scummy thing to suggest that uh, Clovis help pay for her drinks type of thing and get her drunk enough so she doesn't notice how fucking bad he looks? <laughs> Uh, is that a scummy thing? Is that hmm. a scummy thing? I do you think a woman drunk <laughs> scummy? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, she just ordered two of the most strongest drinks in the bar. No, she ordered the right, one strongest drink dangerous. in the bar. Oh. <clears throat> then she ordered a special. Which is like a cocktail. Is that, is that Pixie Piss? But, yeah, Pixie Piss. Yeah, Why does it um, sound like I'm there's construction work going uh -huh. in the background? Oh, that's probably because my um my stupid uh, thing. I had to switch ports my phone to the PC, so I ended up using a different headphones for it. Wait, see if I can uh, see sounds this. great. It sounds great. So, it's fine. But, uh, why don't you yeah. talk to Marjorie? You know, it's 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 not a not a bad idea, right? But I was thinking of maybe talking to, um... Have some confidence in yourself, man. Rabina? Go for it, man. Yeah. Remember... For remember the three rules of conversation. Like ice, like icebreakers, stuff like that. Like, I'm trying to think of the things there. Uh, fuck. Uh, eye contact. <laughs> like, eye, like, eye contact. Confidence in oneself, like pronunciations and stuff like that. Start with like a some easy subject that everyone can get like into. What's your favorite color? <laughs> What's your favorite color? Like 
How to give dating advice. 101 from the maiden us. <laughs> Why you gotta hurt me like this, H? I'm sorry, but you hurt me too, okay? It's only fair. <laughs> yeah, we're all desperately single. Except for H. Mine, you're married. Know. Yeah, I am yeah. married, but that's besides the point. <laughs> you're married? Let's go. That's sick. <laughs> Yes, so, I am not classified as a maiden less, but that's besides oh. the point. <laughs> I will grant Clovis inspiration. Bardic, inspira Bardic inspiration. Okay. And give him like like good luck and just remember like eye contact, confidence in oneself, and like. Hmm. <clears throat> So what does Clavis do? Yeah. Wait, what do you do, man? Okay. Ballistic? Oh. <laughs> he left. Uh -oh. <laughs> He like, runs out of the tavern like ah. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure. All right. Oop, can barely hear you, buddy. You can barely hear me. There you go. There you are. Woo. Echo. Yep, you're good. I can be the crew in that house. But um. Yeah, you so guys, you want to go talk to Regina? Who is your character at Fancy or oh, the NPCs that came into the bar? Oh, I have no idea. I'm just going to talk to Robina. Alright. Robina? Yeah. Is Robina again? Uh, no. I can send the picture. Alright. Add the stage. <laughs> Show picture. Here Where we Robina? go. Mm-hmm. Alright. Good luck there, my friend. <sighs> Damn, that audio jack is so fucked. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see. I just turned it down a little just because like, that is a sharp. Mm. There. Oh, performance. I don't All know. Right. So what do you say to Rabina? Echo. Um, I say, um... Hey, uh... Excuse me? Um, you're... I was told that your name is Rabina. I'm, um... Well, I'm Clovis. He would hold out his hand. Okay. Rabina would extend her hand and she would introduce, saying, Yes, I am Rabina. Uh, Larkindale. Uh, I was wondering if you, um. I was wondering if you knew what you wanted to do for this year? Well, I'm part of or the, uh. The Drama Guild, and also the Show Band Association. Oh. That's something. What does the Drama Guild and Show Band Association do? Well, Show Band is for, well, band, so being a musician. And the Drama Guild is, well, drama. Play acting. <laughs> 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 yep. Damn a hiccup! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs up. I was like, you got this, man. <laughs> oh, hey, Danny, That's welcome so, back. If you want so, to see how uh, Clovis looks, look in the general there, Danny. Oh. <laughs> that's that's not how Clovis looks. I was just I was just <laughs> lowballing him. <laughs> 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 I mean, to disrespect you like that, Clovis. I'm sorry. <laughs> Clovis. 
I mean, you have a negative one in the like, quote unquote attractiveness score, or whatever the fuck you do it that way with the whole like add con and charisma together, and that's your freaking which is score negative out of one. 10. Yeah. Hey, it's negative one out of negative ten, so I think he's okay. The lowest <laughs> that you can actually have is a, lo a negative two. So not that bad. No, no. But, um, so, um, what instrument do you play? I know how to play the, um, the, the flute. Well, let's see. I play, uh, well, violin. The harp, lute, banjos, uh... Oh, that's, that's pretty, pretty amazing. You know how to play all those instruments, so do you play them all in band? Um, no, it's usually one at a time. I'm usually a violinist. It's either that or the occasional pianist. Well, um, whew, um, when's the next um recital or the next play? Hmm. <laughs> The next uh, play, I believe, is uh, going to be in a bit. Of course, we are getting close to the end of the school year. Uh, yeah. Do you have any idea what college you want to join? Oh, that's easy. Uh, I plan on joining the Silver Quill. Silver Quill? Mm-hmm. What do they have that you want? Um. Well, I guess I would say being an inspiring leader. Inspiring leader. Yeah, I wish that sounds to be amazing. A, a conductor, like similar to like uh, uh, oh, uh I forgot train. His name. No, there's a the Strixhaven conductor. Uh, he's uh, very famous for uh, his abilities. Mm -hmm. Like to try my hand to essentially to become like him, or if not better. Ah, uh. <laughs> I'm. That sounds pretty amazing. Doctor. Mm -hmm. Well, what about you? What college are you planning to go to? I was probably going to go with Quandrix. Ah. Mathematics. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> I just figured that I could find the best scenario for myself if, even if it doesn't make sense there's just so many possibilities and I I'm not really a perfectionist but there's something I want. Okay. And for that, I think I have to go to Quandrix. That's all. Although I did hear I could go to two colleges. And if that's an option, I'll definitely do it. Fair. 
fair enough. Well, uh, it was nice speaking with you, and, um, good luck. I'm sure you'll be an amazing conductor. Actually, I'm sure you'll be the best. Hmm. Farewell. Thank you. He um, no, farewell. Jumps away. Boing. He's rabbit hot. <laughs> jumps. One. All right. Dutch is speechless. I hop back over to Dutch, and uh, I think it's kind of dishonest to get to know people just so I can open a door like this. Don't you think? I, I mean... True! <laughs> if you ask me, but at, at the same time, I thought you were generally looking you know proceed <laughs> to pick up someone yeah. uh, I thought you were looking at this and you've been going at it all wrong that too you were yeah it's beyond just opening a door it's about opening the door of love <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Swing and miss. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, that was. I don't want to be. I don't want to sound rude to you, little close. God. Damn. But you're my wingman. I thought you said. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, is that for? Yeah, I hear you. I was like. Right. All I can do is build you up, man. Like, put some confidence in yourself. <laughs> I don't know, like... It, it'd be kind of weird for a guy to come in, like... I don't think most people would just come into a conversation and be like... Oh my god, that, that noise is, like, so... <laughs> I can't think straight with that going on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god, my brain. <laughs> like, that was what I was saying. I feel like the wingman's job is to, like, help pump up his buddy up, right? Because, like. Fuck. I yeah. gave, like. Him, like, bardic inspiration and, like, just, like, gave him a thumbs up. I could have been trying to make signals, but I felt like. How would <laughs> I have been able to do that to help him get there? Oh. <sighs> Um, there's what kind of, mm -hmm. there's lots of ways that could be done and there's lots of wrong ways to do it too. That's it's, what I mean. It is very much of a case by case. Yeah. So, like, Having contact. a friend on the other side of the table from where they are so that way Clavis can see like over her shoulder and you just put up a sign saying compliment her shoes, compliment her hair. Tell her how James. smelly she is? What? I mean, like, she <laughs> changed the subject there. Like, she clearly, like, I don't care about math guys. Ugh. Oh, I could have totally fucking messaged him. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> That's another yeah. thing, too. I forgot yeah, how to spell it, bro. <laughs> Damn. So, I'd say, I mean, like, several things you could do. What about you, Alistair? Are you going to try to take a swing at this? Just have no. to have an open mic of the no. sending stone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like fucking spy members, like all right. <laughs> Compliment her shoes. Tell her she's beautiful. The most. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. The lady in all pink showed up. I don't know if that piques your interest, Danny. It was What's her name? Uh, Lady Madre. 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 Madre just came in. I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> Fair enough. I think we only That's like few. Chin. Yeah. <laughs> Who? Yes. That's the what? I said that's the wrong gender. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait. I mean, hey, it's whichever way you swing, right? 
Uh, yeah. What is that, Alistair into men? I played the fifth. Alistair is a Ken Doll. <laughs> Ken Doll, fair enough. Fair enough. That's why <laughs> so he only desires a Barbie. <laughs> Alistair it has a like a like a body pillow, and they'll never admit it to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> he has his wife a collection, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Like, Cody like, women forever. <laughs> oh my gosh. God. Play is temporary. The internet is forever. <laughs> Don't look at her. Look at me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, what about you, Adler? Was there any of them that caught your interest? Uh, perhaps, but I'm not right now. Fair enough. What about you, yeah. Dutch? Hmm. No, not the moment. I really know what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, Dutch! I really think you should talk to Ma Madri. Just because we're both nobles doesn't mean <laughs> I have the same interests here. Come on! I'll be your wingman. He starts to push. What? He starts to push Dutch over oh, towards nice. Madri. <laughs> oh my gosh! I could just see a darkened aurora, aura in the fucking blacksmith shop. <laughs> oh god! No, no Lodka! No, don't be pissed. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> it looks like you're getting pushed over to Lady Madri. There, Dutch. All right, fine. I guess I'll make do something there. <laughs> fine. Get an understanding of people, I guess. Uh huh. I'll take some. I'll take some notes while you're on it. I think this will be very useful for research material. It, don't you feel like this is also a sense of dishonesty? <laughs> Come on, help me out! You already watched me crash and burn. Damn it. Why are you doing this to me there? <laughs> Little stick. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> So, all right, fine. I'll strike a conversation with Merle that hopefully it doesn't get any weird there than that. I head over to the bar where she is, mm -hmm. plop down next to her. It's like, so never took you as a heavy drinker. I drink on the occasion, and what of you? Yeah, I drink here and there, same as always. So, oh. you attending the Strict David Academy? N no. Oh, that's a shame. Surely there's gotta be something you're interested in. So many opportunities in this town. Oh, there are plenty of opportunities. Yeah? What kind of opportunities? Oh, find, uh, finding information and uh, seeing if it's true or not. For example... Uh, lost artifacts or anything else of that nature. Yeah. Finding some old artifacts are sometimes the hardest thing to find. Yeah, really look into the research on that stuff. Mm hmm. I know Laura, Laura does a lot of them. Hmm. One of their main uh, attractions for students. Yeah, but Lorehold's already got the information that they uh, already have. I'm looking for information that they don't have. Like what? Supposedly. You can see her as she is taking her finger and going around the uh, glass with uh, her pixie, pix uh, pixie piss glass, to which you can see uh, what looks to be. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, 
sparkles with uh, dancing pixies going around the edge. Interesting. Um, let's see here. There's supposedly a uh, a water elemental down there. But in order to get to it, there is a barrier that's essentially in the way. Wow. Any reason why you're interested in this water elemental? Or, uh, specifically? I believe it holds secrets. Hmm. But it does take somebody who also knows uh, Primordial. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Not usually language learn. That's for certain. Hmm. Well, you seem to hold yourself up there. I take it you come from a line of uh, nobility. Yeah. The Shipperman family. Hmm. Interesting. You see her as she takes the uh, pixie uh, drink and just chugs it in one gulp. <sighs> Alright. Alright. So what is it that you are looking for? I was just looking to strike a conversation with a fellow patron. The tavern. Are you proficient with insight at all? I am actually not proficient, but I do get it as a half proficiency because of, uh, what do you call it? Okay. I would say... I yeah, you can roll if you want. Because I get a, like... Let's see what I get. Nice, 19. 19? Yeah. You have a strong idea... That uh, she's catching on to what you're doing. Just yeah, striking a cop friendly conversation. Uh huh. <clears throat> so, what is it that you want? Hmm. I guess a different viewpoint. Yeah, a strict as a whole. I think Strixhaven is a waste of time. Hmm. But yet you live here. Only temporarily. I do visit other regions from time to time. Then why waste your time here? Because I believe it holds secrets. Secrets for me to discover. So it's not a waste of time. <laughs> no, I only mean the Strixhaven school itself. <laughs> Far as I can see, the entire school itself is lackluster in their performance with uh, keeping students safe. Yet they have to try so hard to hire mercenaries to do the work for them. It doesn't come with the nature of the school itself. When you gather so many high-level casters studying in one place, you feel like you don't really need the use of well, security when everyone else can just easily decide to be intruder. Hmm. But even that is a bit lackluster as well. It's an eye on the students and teachers. Mm hmm. I mean, they allow graffiti like none other. Huh. I haven't noticed any of the graffiti as of late. No, because the other students clean up after them. Quick on that. And again, they do have one of the colleges that specialize in 
对我二级。嗯哼。Seven my distinction man. Fun. 嗯。I wouldn't say taking higher education time. You always get a nice new life. For those who have more experience than one has, a new perspective. All right. <laughs> Speaking of perspective, you seem like a like you had said a little bit of a casual drinker. She slides over the、uh, one drink towards you. Have a drink. I mean, you are here to drink and talk, right? You offer me then buying me a drink.、Mm, this drink was already bought and paid for. Oh shit! It's the fucking fire. <laughs> 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 All right. I drink it then. All right. Constitution saving throw, please. Here we go. Here. Um. Hey. Yeah. I just want to say. I just want to ask Adler.、Uh, hey, Adler. Do you think、um, this is going well, or? I'm gonna burn my inspiration、uh, on this. Maybe. Maybe. That's hard to tell. No.、Yeah. She seems like she's a.、Uh... Twenty, twenty. Perhaps hiding something. <clears throat> I think you're right. Wait, why did, did I have a plus one to that? Do I have to cut? Ah,、oh, that's cursed the constitution. Your bardic、uh, ability. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. All right, yeah, twenty. All right. Uh, you can feel a what sounds like a belch coming up, but it's up to you, because you are in control of it to belch or not to belch. No deep breath or type of thing. All right. That is hard. Mm-hmm. Ah,、oh, impressive. Normally, most people who drink that.、Uh, Are belching fire. I can have my liquor. Kind of、uh, our noble duty, one would say, to be able to handle fine wine.、Mm. Wouldn't you say? I'd say so. By chance, you wouldn't be happen to look for work, would you? Depends on the work. Well, I mean, if you can handle a sword as well as you can handle that liquor. Pretty good sword. Maybe you can investigate、uh, some ruins for me. Oh.、Uh-huh. Ruins in the forest. Yes, actually. A coworker of mine,、uh, Zayner, has、uh, uh, put up a request for a job. Great. Yeah, we'll solve it with Zayner and get the details. Take a look into it, yeah.、Mm-hmm. I mean, all he is is just looking for people who can do the job. I'm the main、uh, information on that aspect. All right. Let's hear it from your pair of pretty old lips. Hmm. Let's see here. So, accordingly, there is a an elder water elemental that's imprisoned there. We want to essentially、uh, bypass it. But in order to get into there, there is a barrier that stops for both ways. Now, supposedly, there is another barrier 
further in, but there is a path that diverts, which allows a caster to be able to go to the next room. Alright. So, if the information is solid... Huh. There may be some magical items there. Alright. And you have a list on the items there? I do not. That's the that's the kicker. Of course, I'm not really interested so much into that. I'm more interested in uh, getting rid of the barrier to talk with the water elemental. Alright. But if the second barrier is there, you uh, should be safe, but uh, I guess the first barrier, according to uh, the rumors, the first barrier is to act as the other barrier, but also make it to where no one can communicate with it. Get rid of the first barrier, and you will be able to communicate with it. Apparently, there is a way of turning it on and off. But that information is lost. So, best thing to do is dispel that magic and reapply the old sigil. Not really. See, simple enough. Yeah. And if you it's find any good. additional treasure, then, you know, you can keep it for yourself. Information <laughs> is all that I want. Do you know anyone that uh, is that can speak primordial? The closest person I know is a man named Vapor. Hmm. Might be useful. Alright. I think Duraki can speak Primordial. He speaks Terran uh, Primordial. Vapor speaks Aquan, which would be the language we need, actually. Which... Aquan's the closest other language would be... Primordial. Is it only purely primordial? Because I know the Terran is close to Dwarvish. Hmm. Alright, let me take a looky. Last time I checked, Aquan, Terran are all part of the primordial language. Mm -hmm. The only thing that lies different between them is accents. It's like North America versus uh, South America in language culture. Yeah. Oh. Oh, could a vapor ever talk to that uh, Gollander then, that one time? Theoretically, uh, yeah, it just would have been a little difficult because, again, Northerner talking with a Southerner can be like, oh. huh? Oh, okay, I think I know it's what like, you mean. Like, it's like one of them uh, rednecks, right, with their funny accents, and then like a, like a really high, like, North uh, na um, Canadian with the uh, their funny accent there. Hmm. Right? Or like... Englishman with a Cockney accent. Probably French and Spanish, or not, yeah, French and Spanish are similar in their spellings. Yeah. I believe. The language, the typical speakers for primordial is elementals. So all elementals share similarities. The script writing for them is dwarvish. So if you know a few elementals that can write, it is would be uh, the bypass with dwarven. Yeah. So best chances are to go is to go find quote unquote vapor or Duraku. Which Duraku's not even here for the session. Yeah, I think, so he, I think he went I think he's still asleep. And <laughs> we have Zeta, the player of <laughs> of uh, Vapor here. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Alright. I think uh Oh, thunderstorm coming in. Our, trying to remember. God, I keep forgetting your name. <laughs> Madria. Madria. Uh, yeah. Madri. Madri. I thank Madria for her pleasant time. Hmm. Wish her a nice, lovely day. Likewise, and maybe we can uh, do more business. further business in the future. No, looking forward to it. Can I make I an insight check? Sure. What do you want to insight? 
how well they got along, their chemistry. Sure. Sure. Uh, 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 uh. Insight. I something, something about her does not sit well with me. <laughs> like, it just doesn't, like... That's just a deep respect for the school itself. She does not. 25. Yeah, you sense there is a... Hmm. How to say... An interest. Definitely an interest. Noted. As you can also, mm. uh, as Dutch is walking away, you can also see her uh, going up and down with her eyebrows. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what is what? this? Like, play the fucking, what's it there? The. Gotta, gotta, dream, get it, get it. <laughs> 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 fucking. Fat cheeks there, fucking video. Wow. No, you've given me so much information with that interaction. But, so I just have to drink some of whatever you drank and then... Mm. Well, no, like, it's the way you talk, having confidence, eye contact. The whole like shabam, stay staying on co uh, topics that the uh, the individual you're talking to, you know, like or enjoy talking about, finding a common ground between each other. Like you hit the nail on the head when you were talking about music with what's your name there, Rabina. Rabina, yeah, Rabina there when you two were talking about music, but when you changed the subject to literal math, <laughs> mm, yeah. you, killed her, you killed the interest in it. <laughs> Dutch is cautious around this one. She's like, like he said before, she, <laughs> this one reminds her, reminds, Ryan reminds him of uh, his, his, uh, his brother's fiance. Mm -hmm. Trying to find that name. But, um... Mm. Alright. Mm. Well... I think... I've had enough... Uh, enough um, of a lesson today. So... I, I'll indulge in drinking. Alright. Indulge in drinking. There is a menu. Mm -hmm. That means Um I'll get what um my friend had. Um Fire A fire drink. You gotta log that shit hit hard. Even Dutch is like me. <laughs> hard. Sure. Probably the hardest drink they had. I'm a casual like, like he doesn't mind occasional drinks here and there. He has to drink strong liquor. He drinks it much slower, and we will have like one. But if it's like, if it's just like you know, warm ale, something like sweet, easy to drink, you'll drink a decent amount of it. Mm -hmm. The flaming dragon costs four silver pieces. Four silver, and two weeks passed, so I should. That would be ten, 10 gold. gold. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll give him four silver pieces, which means I'll add. You'll have six. Uh, six. Yeah. All right. So you're gonna drink that shot. All right. Give me a Constitution saving throw, please. Uh, Good fucking luck. Yeah, you totally forgot about that, didn't you? <laughs> No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh! ah! Okay, I found the meme I wanted to share. share. A natural one. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking done. Just fireball. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you feel a belch that's coming up. Regardless how much you try to hold it in, it comes out. <laughs> the biggest and most audible belch that everyone in the tavern can hear. And it is quite the show, because for as the uh, thing says... Each of your burps become a very small, harmless flame. With a nat one, it becomes a larger, still harmless flame. Noted. <laughs> this drink is very spicy. <laughs> okay. I end up running out of the tavern. Oh boy. Breathing fire. Dutch, he's not an alcoholic like you. You can't let him order that kind of stuff. <laughs> like, his grown man. He can never, like, order whatever drink he wants. It's his responsibility to be able to handle it. Oh yeah, I was supposed to, like, what I thought was, uh, what, <laughs> what is going down as he walks back to the thing. <laughs> Everyone gets to me. <laughs> uh, water, please. Water, please. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I think we drank enough. The two of us drank more enough alcohol for everyone here. <laughs> uh, is there a walk down and try to find him? Oh, oh, where am I at? I'm in the void. Right. Ah, in the void! Uh, ah. yeah, I'm not connected to my character. I'm in the Strixhaven Welcome Strain. Oh, my bad. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna also the oh market street there. Click on the market. Oh god, I don't see it. We also lost Danny again. Damn. But um, okay, I just hit refresh on my page. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah. Like like he said, like it's a voice a voice of com uh, confidence when it comes to like talking with women. And people in general, anyway, too. I'm gonna log on the screen as well. Hmm? Okay. But I, I, I don't think I've ever had any voice of any confident sounding voice, even if I am. So it's all on the presentation, my friend. Here, take this water, closed and even. Uh, so the only people I can think about getting an aid for uh, helping us out with that is maybe uh, paper. Though I don't know where I could find the guy. I could check in with Laka, maybe she would know. Um, well, he usually works in the docks at this time, I believe. I think he's a uh, mm -hmm. fisherman. Oh yeah, I, I, I have seen vapor on the docks. I'm pretty sure I work with him sometimes. Alright, let's head over to the docks. Oh, what do you do? Hmm? I'm a uh, fisherman. Oh, you are? Interesting. Yeah. Uh, to the docks. Was, uh, which, shit, which one was? I think it was this trail. one. It's trail, I believe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. And then once you hit the trail, country road. Country road. Come take me. Bad. Uh, <laughs> isn't that lake? Thank you. I got one. Oh, yeah, the village. I think it's. Wait, no. Shit. Yelp House. That's a new Yelp location. House. That's a new location. Uh. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. Wrong fuck way. it. Yeah, no, wait, whoops. Are you? Rock. No. Uh. That's the straight shop. Whoops. Wrong. Did I... Yeah, we went to the wrong direction. No, you went the right direction. Remember, it's past the uh, burnt village. Oh, yeah, it is past the burnt village. Mm -hmm. Just grant me a moment here. I will. At least the ladder we have to click on. Yeah, just grant, the... grant me a minute on that. But otherwise, it's been, like, it's been a few weeks. Wouldn't this place be like being repaired finally? 
It is being repaired, but uh, some of the other buildings are also being deconstructed. Fair enough. Rumor oh. has it that they're trying to make it better than last time. I'm Fair sad. enough. I remember having a little hideout around the storage shop way. Mm. But you were the squatter? <laughs> <laughs> But it has been after that person for months. <laughs> for the last month. <laughs> that shit started. It, just, it felt like home. Uh, let's see. There we go. I kind of feel bad because I'm putting Zeta on the spot because, like, I'm trying to play two fucking characters. <laughs> well, you know, hey. that's eventually going to happen. Yeah, people are going to play two characters if there's if they play more than one in different mm -hmm. sessions. So I can play Clovis and Ophelia? Just... Not, not here. You can roleplay, but just don't do the whole, like... Um take up too much time no yeah, no no I it's not really so. so much that it's the uh oh what's the term i'm looking for <laughs> control two players at or two con two characters at the same time role play fine because that that is a thing mm -hmm. but controlling two tokens uh, yeah all right that should work now oh to yeah where? Just a little ladder mm-hmm uh, there you go. Uh, guess he's not here. Unless he's on the boat. I've been on the boat? Of course I have, because I'm a fisherman. Grant me a... Yeah, you would see vapor on the boat. Alright. Set sail. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't press the button. No. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Monday nights. There it is. But otherwise, yes. Uh, it's like looking at a mirror for you, Adler. He looks nothing like me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know, I guess there was a paper um, uh, hello there, uh, Clovis. Are they ready to work? Um, actually, um, we're here to ask you for your help. And hey, Vapor. Uh, with what? We're planning on doing a little bit of an exploration into the uh, fort, uh, forest districts. An old ruin our employer wants us to take a look into. A noble lady by the name of Mara? <laughs> I am terrible with names, okay? You keep giving these characters weird ass names, right? <laughs> Madri. I, I don't Madri. think you're ever good with names regardless of name. <laughs> uh, Like, no one gives them normal names. Like, my character's name is Madri Dutch. is actually a pretty remember. normal name. <laughs> uh, Vapor here is Noble, and he's like, um, Noble? Hmm. Must mean it uh, pays well, right? Supposedly. Oh, I'm in. Where do we go? <laughs> All right, uh, old ruins there. Some sort of old. As in, we're supposed to see about getting in contact with a water elemental. Oh, Seeing as you can speak primordial, yeah. uh, see I believe my, you were heritage was, was. I believe your heritage was with both air and water gymnastics, I believe, right? Uh, yeah, indeed, yes. Might as well get someone with an expertise on it. Yeah, I could do that. And if we find any treasure, we were told yeah, we can keep some of it. Our employer, quote unquote, a Madri, Lady Madri, was just looking for some people to investigate and free the Virginacy so she could talk to them herself. I believe you guys have been there before, actually. Your entertainer yeah. was telling me about it. Um, so. This is the, uh, Ejima, this is the cave that we had to go down the rope to get to? Yes. Uh, yes, that's cave. It's, um, it was quite dangerous to those of my kin. 
Uh, there were traps there specifically designed for people like me, of our mm -hmm. um, water affinity. Um, uh, now we need. Not, oh, we need. Oh, oh. Definitely not excited to go back there, but uh, I do need the money. Well, pretty easily equipped for that scenario. Yes. Uh, and so I think the only thing we really need now is some good lock picking. Any suggestions? Um, lock picking? Hmm. I'm not too sure anyone comes to mind immediately. Uh, I kind of might know something about that. You know, uh, use Steve's tools. Well, oh, I know a little locksmith stuff. Not, not specifically thieves' tools. Maybe. <laughs> Damn. But I'm sure I could crack it open if I got something. Great. Uh, what about you, uh, Adler? You know anyone that could you know any lock picking? Uh, not, uh, no, not sure I do. And your other character, Vapor, does he know? Nope. No. Damn. I don't know if we get stuck on that lock. Oh, At least it's punched open. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can try to force the lock open. You know, traps well, and all that uh, stuff. Uh, I can... I can help. I can help with that. I just... don't have the tools at my disposal. Fair enough. Hell. Do really none of us know any thieves here? find that hard to believe. Oddly enough, shit, I think like my other character, Laka, actually has Steve's tools. <laughs> God damn it. I was hoping maybe like someone else knew a rogue, but I guess Laka is maybe the only one that has um, Steve's tools. Is Rosie a rogue? Hmm? Rosie. Isn't Rosie a rogue? No, Thought she is a, uh, what you would classify as a monk. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah. Um, I believe after enough time, I do believe you guys would know one student by the name of Grayson. <laughs> Grayson? Mm-hmm. Isn't Grayson an asshole? Mm. Or is that someone else thinking of? I mean, um, he is. Yeah. Here, I'll uh, add, a, add his picture. Yeah. God, this guy's a pompous douche. <laughs> yeah, he is. God damn it. Locker! <laughs> You're not gonna let me pull out Locker. Are you? Probably not. Role play with two people? Fine. Playing two characters at the same time? No. I mean, we only need them for, like, the lock picking and then uh, talking with the water elemental and just doing deciphering work. Hmm. I think the heavy lifting would be the rest of the party. Hmm. I, I, I could help with the. Well, with working on locks. Are you proficient Are you... with lock picking? Well, I just need the tools. Do you have to use tools as a proficiency? Uh, yes, my character does, but he wouldn't refer to them as thieves' tools. Oh, okay. Well, that, that, that's what I mean. Like, like, thieves' tools are thieves' tools, quote unquote. Like, first yes, locks the best. Kid. <laughs> I'm sure there's someone in the marketplace would uh, sell something for that. Sure. Wait. If you're urgent, I think you already get those tools in your from your background. Um. No, I think you just gained the actual proficiency. You not get the tools as well? I thought you did. Nope. Hmm. 
Up in my home city, a pet mouse, which I scratched out. Token of my parents. Oh, okay, yeah, I know. Mall knife. This guy's kit and thieves tools you get, yeah. Shit. Well, I mean, you do have thieves tools. I mean, we can borrow this set from Lotka then. Can we do that at least? Yeah. Alright, let's head off to go talk with Lotka then. <laughs> Should be at, uh. Fuck, where would she be? I believe she would be at work. Yeah. With ba uh, Bayo. Let's go talk with Lotka then. I think she's proficient with those skills. Has a set, uh, extra set we can borrow. Mm -hmm. They destroyed town. And then we head back to the bridge side. Has a trail. Hmm. Market. Hmm. The enchantress shop. Oh. Lights are out. <laughs> there you go. Okay. I'll just come again. Oh. Uh, I took a wrong turn. Guild house. Why does it look so creepy? Uh, where's Lock and Brooklyn? Blacksmith. It's in the Enchantress shop's back room. Oh, okay. Back end of the store. Because uh, Bayo hasn't moved shop yet back to the old one. Right. Mm -hmm. There's Adler. No sign of vapor. Oh, there he is. He's like. <laughs> I don't know why, but they look like they they could be related. <laughs> I don't know. It's me. Enchantress. Uh, yeah. Oh, what's this? I guess not as close to it. Okay. Then blacksmith shop. There you go. All righty. You would see Bayo, and Bayo would uh, greet you. What you doing here, Dutch? I oh, was just seeing if uh, the lock is around. We needed to borrow a lock, uh, or locksmith's uh, set. We're doing like, some exploration. Ah, uh, all right. She should be in the back there. I gotta spawn a token. <laughs> Why would I spawn a token? Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I guess, like, Lotka comes out there and see what's going on. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Hi, guys! <laughs> Hi, guys! <laughs> <laughs> like... Coming to see Dodge. Hey, Dodge! Uh, and uh... Oh, what are you guys yeah. all up to? I'm not gonna role play with myself. <laughs> oh, you don't want to role play with yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Adler and Vapor kind of avoided that a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah, fair enough. Oh, we need lock picking stuff. We need lock picking tools. Uh, yeah, I, I forget what um Dutch said for, but um, yeah. It's an exploration. We're checking out some ruins. There's some locks in the way, we were told. Right. right. And, yeah, I'll be opening some of the doors if I can, if you have the tools. Luck, I would respond. He's like, well, you're just in luck. I do have a set of tools. Locksmithing tools. Well, just promised me that to break them. I and I don't make such them. promises. She I will promise. Pulls it out of her bag of hold in there. This is all the like. Mm -hmm. This is the adventure where it does get broken somehow. <laughs> ah! It's gonna be sad. <laughs> I was like, God damn it! Just don't. They can't be that expensive. They are. They're like twenty-five gold. That's not bad. 
It's not bad, but it's not cheap either. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad, not cheap either. It's as about as to... worth as a scimitar. We, we'll we'll pick it off some goblins. Nah. <laughs> if it breaks, we can buy a new one. Okay. Hmm? We can find it in a jar later. Fair enough. So you guys are exploring some ruins, hey? I would love to join you, but I'm freaking swamped with some of these orders. Ah, uh, it's too bad. Yeah. Well, good luck at you guys. Mm. Fun with your orders. Um, Dutch, this isn't going to be too dangerous, is it? Nothing's ever... Nothing is ever easy, my friend. I... I understand that, but... So a good idea would be to like, grab maybe a couple of healing potions. Mm -hmm. I'd imagine so. So anyone want to spend some uh, money on healing potions? Uh, um. Vapor would say, "Well, I can heal." Oh. I think we all can heal a bit. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Noted. I have to learn how to heal. That's a mental note for himself. Oh, yeah, that's right. Two levels monk, one level wizard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so with that, I assume we're going to start heading out to the Orange District. Is a, uh, uh, that's the Biblioplex, right? Yeah, the portal. We got yeah. we got rope. We got. I think Vapor actually has pitlins there. Yep. So Vapor's got going. 200 feet of rope, and pitlins, and all that kind of stuff. Back. Oh, it's forever loading on my side. So we're gonna head off. Um, let's see. <laughs> uh, Drake Cummins. Oh my god, I've been like in a dark void. Yeah, I ended up in just this green place. Oh god, we're in the freaking back rooms. Uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I think he passed. Penguin. I think I. I think I know what happened, to Danny. Oh, I think he passed out. He was up late last night. Yeah, if I recall correctly, and you know, England, he's five hours ahead. So you were like probably like. Alrighty, well, if we're gonna be messing with a portal here, uh, vapor, I need a D hundred. Oh, what for? Oh, that's positive. Oh, just quote unquote add the tools. They're uh, full of stick to your character sheet. If not, okay. Because like technically the character sheet on this doesn't have the the inventory. Hmm. But well, Laka's character sheet doesn't have it technically. It's in the reroll I have it in. Oh you know, my, because I, I manage my characters on that rather than on the thing here. Mm -hmm. uh, Did I win? I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's that, there's that. 
Next set. Okay, get Adler, Clavis. Activating the portal accordingly, um, what you find is there being sparks of arcane through this wormhole. Uh, before it turns red and you guys are kicked out. Grab me a second here. Be right back, sorry. No worries. Right. You're helping me load the page. Yeah, you may have to do a refresh. Yeah, I might have to. Now let go it does not have our tinker's tools. There we go. Mark that down on our character sheet. There we go. Still have to wait to get those back from uh, Lois. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, no, it failed. I have to load, reload. Yep. Kind of figured. Every, everyone's all loaded in here. Oh yeah, we're uh, not yet. Yeah. I like the forest place. Different forest place, probably. Um, is there grass for y'all? Like for me, like there's a black screen with trees. You may have to reload it. Yeah, I'll reload real quick. Yeah, isn't yeah? This is the same map as before, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Is it a different location, or is it the same location? HDMI. Um, I believe it would like, be a similar location. Select both of them. Hmm? How do I select both of my guys? Uh, token controls and then select tokens uh, on the left. This brings back some memories. Should be careful. 
This is the first time we spot no skeletons here. Where did I need to go? Well, let's don't fall behind. He's catching up now. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll go right here and start that. The tying your putting a pitten down, and attaching the rope on it, make sure it's secure, <laughs> and I'll throw down the uh, 200 feet of rope. Mm-hmm. Alright. Right. Nice. Which, uh, was this 240 feet last time? Actually, no, it was only like 50 feet drop. No, it was like around. 200. No, it was 200. Okay. Oh, yeah. Say, so, uh, should be safe. And, um, they broke it down first because it usually does. Oh. Alright. down with him. Okay. Uh, anyway, got my sword, um, oh, my sword out. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> uh, as well as the dark assassin speed. Alright, is that um, enchanted bar still down here? Keep my... Yes, yes it is. Um, it is in the upright position. And let me get this. Hmm. So... I go. I got my sword out there. I'm gonna like moon touch sword. There we go. And he also got the wakasashi on the other hand. Oh, um, all right. Uh, I guess we're going down. Oh, what's this thing? Oh, that's Ooh, a spray that? norm. That's just that's just my end. Oh, okay. Okay. I was wondering who that fuck that was. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Scry norm. Anyway, so you see that? Oh, someone already broke through. Hmm. Looks like someone already broke through the wall. And there's supposed not to broken. be a gin here. I mean, like they opened it, right? It is open. Huh. Hopefully, we don't. Have... I do have a, t a light source there from Moon Touch. Uh, give me a second here. Oop, wrong one. Yep, that's hidden. That's why. 15 by 15. There you go. Teleporter should work fine now. Alright, now we go through. Alright, move with caution, everyone. All right, let's explore a bit. Let's see if we can't find anything interesting here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plenty and of fire. Water, water that submerges the base of your feet all the way up to your ankles. Really should have invested in waterproof shoes. Let's uh, press digitation to dry them off. Okay. Oh, what's this big ol' black hole? I mean, it's a hole. It's, uh, you are wa trending in water, so it's stated. Yeah. Uh, vapor will get closer to it. I'll, like, kind of peer down. Okay. I assume this is where the water gin is supposed to be. I believe it was around here somewhere. We're still away from something. something. What, what if one of those skeletons attacks us? Then we'll kill it. Oh, we're properly armed. We should be able to defend ourselves now. There we go. Ah, da -da -da -da. Is it dark in here? It is classified as dark. All I right, do have my uh, sword out. Vapor will cast Dancing Lights. Okay. 
I just have like lights floating around like everybody mm -hmm. who needs it. No, did that help? Because I can't see squat. You can't see squat? Do you have dark vision? Nope. I'm only a rabbit person. Well, now there's lights around you. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and what does those lights go for? 20 by 20? Uh, I'll see real quick. Uh, 120 feet range, uh, 10, 10 foot radius for the lights. Okay. It's dim light. Yeah, we're just gonna start out with this. Mm. And Dutch, yeah. you say you have a light source going for you. Do you know what the radius is for that? Dutch. Oh, it's 15 by 15. 15 by 15, all right. There you go. Hey. Hopefully you can see now. And what does Vapor have? Uh, I don't think he has any dark vision. Right. So he's a light around himself. Mm -hmm. There we go. Right. Better? Yep. Alright. So one light's around Vapor, another one's around um, Clovis, and the other two are just like in the darkness. We can see a little bit further. Alright. Just testing something out real quick. That should be excellent, right? There you go. You able to see now, Clavis? Yeah. Alright, there you go. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, I have no idea how I did that. Just checking something real quick there, see if this is actually put in right. Oh, that's not correct. That's definitely not correct. Looks like you missed something in your, uh... I was trying to fix it there. I guess I can work You're on it later. Efficiency. Oh, that's weird. I should be proficient in short sword. It was a custom made item, that's why. Okay, that makes sense. So I'll go here. Because I think it identif okay, identifies as a scimitar now. Martial weapon. Yep. Uh... Two minutes required. Such and such. Plus one, plus one. Blur. I do do the plus one damage again. It's in there. Oh, it's already in there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, there we go. Close that there because you're dealing with it. Let's try this again. I should be able to use my strength modifier for it instead. Mm-hmm. Like right, dex. Uh. Still sink. Oh, yeah, it's plus three. Okay, so it'd be plus... There you go. Yeah, that's, that's more like it. And the damage. Uh, four. There, there we go. go. Yeah. Got that sword on one hand, and I got my long sword on the other one. Right. Cool. <clears throat> All right, so with that being the case, this area is dark.
got the uh, moonlight out as well, so 15 by 15, so. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. It's just dark down here. Can't see anything. It's dark. Um, You might see a little bit of blue towards the center there. I see it. What seems looks like an exit. Would there be light coming from there? From the hole? Yeah. No. <laughs> So I guess we keep going then around. Oops. Or there we go. <laughs> All right. So for vapor, because of where you're located and everything else like that. Yes. You're in those places again. Mm -hmm. I just gonna try to fight it off this time. So it's running instantly. Try to ignore it. Put it back into his head. Mm -hmm. Voices. Maybe it's the water elemental that's trapped here. Well, maybe. Uh, does this ground look weird? In this ground. It's a little bit elevated. Okay. It's over there. Look at that. Uh, oh, that's caves, if I had cave up there. Go in there. Two, two paths. Uh, let's go this one. Alright. I'll take the lead. What's this uh, 80 feet mean? It's like a 80 feet 80 is uh, how long it would take you to get to the other side. Okay. Something up ahead. Definitely glowing something up ahead. That's a big structure. Ped I'll point out there's like there's uh, two pedestals on this side, different symbols on each. Mm -hmm. I can tell. One looks like a. Can deter maybe some sort of wand or staff? And it's shaped like a sling. The fork with the hook. Like and the other one is. Big ass floating thing. No, this. Yeah, that, yeah I also see that. That's probably our water elemental. Uh. Is that what they look like? Uh. For you, Vapor, something about this seems familiar to you because of uh, where you're from and being a water genasi with your culture. Um, well, I can't really place it, but it feels like I should know what this is. Uh, what does it look like, exactly? Like, uh... A floating rock with a intricate shaping with all sorts of uh, cuts, almost like you're putting a bunch of boulders together to create an intricate, uh, almost like a crystal. You know, like a history check or something? You can do that. Mm -hmm. All right. And in regards to the symbols, they do have actually words on them. Oh, can I, is it Promoto? Uh, let me see here. Let me go to that. Uh, there's three places, sorry, to uh, do some reading. One here, uh, here, and here. Uh, Alright, um, Adlar has proficiency in history, so he'll give that to Vapor so he can do a good vintage. Alright. Alright. Uh, the one to the right is easy for you to read. Uh, their vapor. 
The one on the left is a language you, I don't believe you understand. Do you know Celestial? No. Okay. I don't think anyone does. Yes, is I think on the right. The one on the I right was... reads, Sacrifice unto me, and with every swing, the earth will crumble before you. I think the Rackler knew it, Celestial. No, he knew Primordial as well. I think it's uh, Alistair that has Celestial. If I'm not mistaken. Does anyone have the Comprehend Language spell? That's a good question. Nope. Adler does not. Uh, no, he doesn't. Could you read that again? Or type it? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. <laughs> no, is it that a first level spell? Mm-hmm. Noted. Uh, well, I know Staffy does, but... Damn. I, uh... Well, we found the damn thing. The question is... What do we talk with them? And uh, Napier will read, uh, this pillar over here says, Sacrifice unto me, and with every swing, the earth will crumble before you. So I'm not really entirely sure what that means. So what, like a hammer? Mm, perhaps. Or a pick. Mm. Oh, the other one over here, was it? Uh, I'm not sure what this one reads. It's not primordial or anything. What does this one speak? Ishima? This one uh, is classified as celestial. And there's one more thing we could read, right? It was at the beginning. Mm hmm. We can take a look at this there and see what this one reads. Alright. Also, did you see my history check? I, I did I not did see it. your history check, actually. Uh, it was a 14. It was a flat roll 14. Does it have any, um, any bonuses or anything? Uh, I don't know why it didn't pop up in my feed. Maybe you selected it as private with a GM or blind self? Uh, that would have been blind self, because I don't even see it. I, the last roll I see is with Dutch. I didn't even see an animated roll. Yeah. Did you put Did you put that in Avery? Uh, I did it in D&D &D Beyond. Oh, okay. That's what... It, yeah, I know. But usually I when I do that, it does... Yeah. Come down. Uh, but if you got a 14... Yeah, it's, it's selected to everybody. Right? That's know, weird. So... Uh, but no, it's okay. Uh, with a 14. Um, you remember being told stories as a child of water elementals and earth elementals making a. Uh, working together to create a kingdom. Uh, but as the story goes, the uh, kingdom did fall into ruin as something attacked it, disrupted their work, and then uh, the elementals were separated. Uh, and he'll relay that. He'll say, um, "Well, where I come from, the elementals—they usually work together, but mm, this might be." The results of their craftsmanship, uh, all this earth and water would suggest as such, but something perhaps drove them away. I'm not entirely sure. Is this like thing made of like some sort of metalwork? Metal? It's a it's rock. So like okay, it's a stones. rock. So mason in this case, uh, no mason. No, dude. I cast shatter. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> That's a second level spell, you don't even have Shatter. <laughs> guilty. So what is the tablet here? What language is this in? Um... 
they are just symbols. Hmm. The symbols look like. Uh, they are two symbols of essentially the same as the ones below. They are not lit up, though. That's the kicker. The other thing to also note, too, is uh, on the bottom pillars here, there are inserts. With a uh, both of them sharing a symbol of a hammer. Or maybe uh, a maw. Or maybe something along those lines. Alright. Once Star flies and receives it, it shatters the earth, and there one that based on the symbol of looking like a star or sun shatters the sky. Um maybe we'll find them around here. Yes, we... uh, more investigation perhaps is in order. Yeah. Around, I guess. Um, there was this. Hmm? There's something in the back here, I believe. Like, to swamp? Quote unquote. Here. Oh, swim? Uh, they will look down it. It is a darkened hole. Mm. Uh, I'm not entirely sure I would like to go down there. I got my sword. I can that, like, close the lights the path. Dutch. I don't know where it leads. Could yeah. check. I go. Tie, like, ties a rope around his waist. There's like just. Like, hold me on this and help me pull me out there if anything comes up. Check. Uh, sure. What's your constitution? It is a, let's see here, plus two, a 14. So I believe I can hold my breath for three minutes. Mm-hmm. Sure. All right. That was quick. You move yeah. a grand total of 70 feet worth, so that would be because you are not a swimmer. Naturally. Uh, that's a, well, even if you are uh, proficient with athletics, the movement speed yeah, is half is because half, difficult half. terrain, so it's 140 feet for you. Forty but you are nine. able to make it to the other side. <sighs> oh, shit. Just another way he catches his breath and like, oh, okay. Huh? Water and food. You're pretty bitching if you're with it. Not me, something. It's mm. McDonald's. That's a cook. Never mind, like a cheap cook with some fries. It's pretty expensive. Like, sorry, I'm probably only like 15 bucks. Cheaper than fries. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. You'd be better off just ordering for yourself. Like, yeah. In the shack or something. Sorry. Okay. Right. So about that, guys. Okay. But I would uh, probably return, catching my breath and going back under. Okay. <sighs> Climb out. Well. That just leads back to the main area. Well, perhaps I should put you down that uh, big uh, hole. You do hear another oh. voice there, Vapor. Uh, I do understand what it's saying, right? Yes. Is it sort of saying help? Mm hmm. Okay. Same thing as before. Uh, Vapor just like start talking to himself like, where are you? What? I can't help you if I don't know where you are. He was like, start talking to himself a little bit. Mm -hmm. I do point out like, there's a narrow location we have to check, which is... I think it looks like an exit. Probably something around there. As for the rest of this place, it doesn't seem... It seems like just mostly cave work, really. 
but an indoor spring, I would say. Like, this would be like a, considered like an underwater spring area, right? I wouldn't underwater classify it as a spring. Or well, like just an underwater lake? Yeah. Yeah. Around the lake. So, right now, I would probably suggest we check out that other location there. Because all we got is this clue here, and no one else knows comprehend language, sadly. Yeah. Damn. And you'll find that elemental. Ooh. I think the elemental would be inside that rock. But let's try to figure out the puzzle here. It seems we need to make quote unquote a sacrifice that revolves around Earth. Probably Earth given with the backstory it might be something with water, but like based on the symbol, it seems like something with the sky. So, um, hey, hey, wait for me. Uh, so, see I'm, I'm also, uh, as I were moving, I'm seeing press dissertation to draw myself off. Hmm. Ooh, French. French. I want to catch a cold. Mm. Oh, it's just... Everyone went outside. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's still a waterfall. Uh... Great, now I'm <laughs> even more so. Oh, this leads to... Whoa. How the heck? I can't move my token. There you go. It had to catch up. I still can't move my token away. Just, it's... I think it's a... yeah. The waterfall and that, like, oh, I don't know why I see. I'm glued to the wall for some reason. It's the way it spawned me. Yeah. <sighs> Come on. There we go. As you guys leave the cave, Vapor, you do here. Return. Return. Uh, I think we have to go back in. This isn't the right way. Really? Yeah, this is just a way to leave. Alright. Alright. Strange. Okay. Do you have any idea what those symbols are? Vapor? Um, no, they're not sure. They don't look that familiar. I can't identify them. Hmm. I could spend some time casting identify on them as a ritual. Yeah, I'd I like to do that. You do that, you do that too? I'll do one, you do the other. That way we'll have a under decent understanding of how they work. I'm back in the room, so everyone's catching up. Ooh. Spend my ten minutes cast, uh, casting as a ritual. Mm -hmm. Identify. Alright. Uh, add Laura cast that too. The ritual. Fair enough. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. All right, so between both of you doing that, you do find do, 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 that these uh, the magic is a ceiling type of magic. Um, I don't believe it would reveal the translations, but you can understand where its properties is coming from. That if you sacrifice, if you uh, place an, a particular object. Hey, you the, said sacrifice. Yep. Uh, if you place a particular object, the, uh, the magic will flare off as it is also wheat woven in with a glyph. Uh, to which then will release the seal. 
we want to release the seal? That's the question. The only one that you have uh, that you are able to translate is just the one sacrifice onto me, and with every swing, the earth will crumble before you. Uh, and how big is the offering over here? Like, the offering hole thing? Um, it, it's a shape. It's a shape in, uh, in kind of like a diamond shape. Uh, essentially, what you can put it in is like a hammer or maybe a battle axe. Something along the lines of like a shaft like that. Okay. I have a hammer. Is that your just a, main? Just weapon? a normal hammer, though. Did you try fitting the hammer in there? No, yeah, I'll put a hammer in there. All right. From putting a hammer in there, it does fit nicely, and nothing happens. I think a particular item is needed. We also should probably take some notes on. Though we may not know, understand the uh, the language itself, maybe we can find a means to translate it later. Mm -hmm. Just take some notes then of it. Let's see if we can yeah, translate it. It is etched Until... in there, so. Mm -hmm. So if you have chalk and parchment, you can. Uh... Oh. Can do that. I don't got chalk. Chalk. Park. Uh, pencil, something well, along those lines. I assume we had pencils in that. Do we not have that? I have, uh, I have an ink pen. Like a graphite pencils? Well, the Strixhaven School doesn't use graphite pencils, they use ink. And quills. Oh. For everything? Yeah. yeah. That's expensive. Uh, Adlar will transcribe it on his parchment. Okay. Alright. Yeah, because the other thing that you can also do too is uh, kind of scrape the words onto there and then uh, ink it on top of it just carefully. Mm -hmm. So, we do that. Mm -hmm. We can't really do anything else, so we could always ask the person walked away in the, uh, what you want to call it? Right. And get their opinion, since Vapor, that's kind of a reason why we brought you here. Uh, Vapor's gonna say, oh, there was those big holes down there, I'm gonna check those out. What big hole? Oh, oh. massive holes in the center. Oh. Are they filled with water or no? Uh, yeah, they're yeah. Filled with water. There's water down there, like dripping down. Those, the Fair bottom enough. looks kind of blue. We could also talk to this guy. He seems like he can communicate from within his quote unquote prison. Uh, didn't seem like that to me. Fair enough. So we're heading all, everyone's heading back to the main lobby to take a swim. Yeah. Take it. I'll probably just walk around. You hear a voice yeah. again, Vapor. This way, this way, this way. Help, help, help. Oh, is it coming from the, uh, like, middle? Oh, that's new. <laughs> I point out, that's new. That a uh, ritual circle, yep. uh, huh. yeah. And uh, as soon as he, as soon as the voice from within uh, your head uh, stops talking, okay, well, oh. 
Okay. Uh, Vapor's gonna like try to investigate it, see if we can activate something here. Okay. Uh, from what you can see, it looks to be a case of uh, some etched carvings into stones, and uh, lots of stones also placed, particularly. It looks like. Uh, are you proficient with Arcana? <laughs> Uh, I'm not. You're not. Adlar is. Adlar is. So for uh, so for you, Vapor, each stone also has carvings on it, which I believe would be strange for you. Um, it looks like these stones may be uh, used for a ritual. Got carvings on it. Um, he's gonna like try to see if any of them are like out of order, like if there's um like a rhythm to how these stones are being placed. Mm -hmm. um, showing it to Adlar and or uh, Dutch, you two can uh, identify these as part of a ritual, ritual stones, and uh, they act as also druidic nature. Druid. Druidic magic. Alright. While Vapor is standing uh, there. Oh, crap. That should be like, call out, like. And say, like, Vapor, watch out! Okay, uh, Zeta. <laughs> I just called out. Uh, yeah, can I move? Or... Oh, yeah, you can move. Oh, okay. Uh, he'll, like, talk to himself. Like, what was that? Like, in his head. Right. Kind of, like, the question the voice. Shit. No response. Uh... Circle? Oh no. Can't really figure out what that is unless one of us spends a spell slot looking into that spell as it activates. Uh, Adlar will go to one of the stones, um, like pick it up. Alright. And try to like read it. It is druidic, not by a language, but druidic in arcane spells. Um, would I be able to identify the ritual? Uh, taking ten minutes, yeah, you would be able to. Okay, I'll be that. Alright, you can discover that this is both sealing magic and also a communicating... Uh, um, circle of communication. When placed uh, in, how does it communicate? Um, typically you have to be either a a druid or b meet the requirement. To which, with the whole identifying and using ritual and blah blah blah, a water genasi would also be uh, required. Um, exactly who put this here? And I know this gin's probably been sealed here for a long time, but why? Um, I don't know. I look at each other. I'm like, I mean, to figure it out once we find this elemental. I mean, um, so is this. Does it look dangerous to be in it? Or is... uh, in itself, no. It seems to be set up as a platform to, for one to act as a sealing agent, so a singular location, and second for a, uh, a possibility for uh, communication. Like the one that stands in here is the one that seals something away. Alright, uh, Adlar will say to Vapor. Uh, well, it looks like 
You need to stand in here for this to activate. It's for your kind only. For a druid, and seeing as we don't have a druid, it's up to you, I guess. It'll let you communicate with this thing, I believe. And then I'll say, uh, okay. Uh, if it's safe, I guess. And it'll go back into it. Don't worry, we got your back. And as far as spirits do begin to rise at a uh, vapor, spirits of which that you what? can see. For everyone else, it just looks like uh, almost what you can call will o wisps. But for you, vapor, they don't look like will o wisps. They look like other genasis. Walking around. Uh, yeah, he starts speaking primordial. You're like, uh, brothers, uh, what's entrapped you here? Oh. All right. Grant me a few seconds here for one. I need that. Second. The Room of Whisper. Oh no! All right. Oop. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Other direction. All right. Can you hear me? Okay, there. Yep. All right. So this, you do hear what sounds like uh, a person talking to you. Ah, da -dun -da -dun -da -dun. You come. You help us. Yes, of course. What, what do you need? We are trapped. Um, uh, was that rock? That magical rock has something to do with it? No. Well, how, how are you trapped here? Is this a, this enchantment? Or yes. this ritual? You... And you feel from uh, below into, uh, into here, there are two glowing eyes that look like they are staring at you. Um, and uh, what it does, it says, uh, da -da -da -da. you wear the clothes of them. You are a traitor. Well, of Strixhaven? Did they do this? help the founders the laborers uh, on our back soar uh, who, who are the founders promised guardians of Strixhaven So what what do I need to do? Do you not trust me? Cause I what do I, what do I wear? Strixhaven question. Strixhaven betrayed us, sealed by one of their own. Uh, who? Dean Larisity. Uh, 
uh, are you sure this wasn't maybe just an action of one of the Strix Havens, not instead of maybe the whole school? Many spellcasters, but I was sealed away by one. Uh, how do I free you? I remove the magic that binds us. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> we were told that this would happen. We were told another will help us. You. You mock us with your clothing. And you can, uh, you can also feel like this uh, sense uh, as this thing is starting to retract and just kind of retreat. And that'll be it. All right. We're having a little role play. <laughs> mm-hmm. E. We're just speaking about our life, I guess. <laughs> so... Mystical, non like, so what I turned to, I uh, think, seeing his papers and his conversation, I asked, like, so what did the spirits say? Um, uh, oh, they're, they're trapped. A way to release them? They were betrayed by Strixhaven. Hmm. Uh, apparently they were entrapped by a certain Dean Lariset or Lariset. Dean who? Lariset, the uh I believe we like just talked to her. Or Much Bloom or Witch Bloom? Wither Bloom, yeah. Wither Bloom, Bloom yes. Huh. Oh, God. Definitely need to take a look into that then. Well, there's not much else here to explore. I didn't find any tr miss like sacred treasure in that. So, a good idea would probably head back then. Do some research on the uh, celestial. And now, even ask Dean Ambrios, was it? About the ruins. Or even the Professor Entertainer, since he was the one that suggested we go on this little adventure to begin with. Alright, let's start heading out then. Alright, so as you guys are, uh, Leaving, Vapor, you do hear another echo in your voice. Traitor. Uh, he's like, still talk to himself. Like, oh, I'll, I'll be back. Like, uh, see my fellow Dutch. If I can select my guys, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. you guys are heading back to the school. Yeah, we're heading back. Yeah, uh, climbing back up. Oh, who joined? Echo. I'm sorry. Uh, Could you guys hear me? No. Nope. Well, I was, I was basically saying that uh, we should probably tell Madri about this 
Yeah. Seems more complicated than it, than it seems. And also, I would trust Entertainer even if he is kind of more weird. We're stuck right now because we're. Yep, grab me a minute. I'm pretty move. sure. I don't really trust the Dean, and if that Witherbroom lady's in it, then who else could be in it? That's not the point. It's just the way the conversation with uh, Meridria got me thinking. The way she was acting about really? it. It seemed like she liked you. Looks may that be deceiving. Guy. Coming from a bard? <laughs> yep. Did I not roll 25 insight? She was definitely given a mice. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh. Hmm. That should be like. <sighs> What's the word I'm looking for? Those kind of women are some of the most dangerous kind of women. You never know what they're thinking of. Like a femme fatale? Sort of. They always act like they're... one step ahead. I'm a... It's not my first time seeing a woman like that. Like I said, my brother's fiance had that same aura about her. <laughs> and you guys do return to Strixhaven successfully. Like I said, just... It's weird how she's dicking around, around Strixhaven. Though she considers the academy itself pointless. I'm just saying... Um, well, I don't know. And with that, I think it's a good spot to place the bookmark. Damn. <laughs> Until next time. Until next time on Strixhaven again. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm assuming, like, uh, Dutch would take back the lockpick set and head off to bring it back to the lockpick. Right. <laughs>